stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and... the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS quarantine zone access code. A likely story. Uh, Gamora, I was just... Who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um... was Yondu's call sign. He was... Bluebird and I was the kid. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime, about three years into my sentence. Wait, Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were, and they also weren't. The Ravagers had a simple code, steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still... You know. They hit just as many resistance ships. Until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and... Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime. With you. Mm -hmm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base. But he didn't. Instead... He invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. Must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged. If that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes. Exactly. Those first few years it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. Yondu and I were cellmates. <laughs> First thing he said when they put him in my cell was, Boy, don't be going and getting attached, because I'm just here for the food. And the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these... gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but... I didn't expect anyone to last long. I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu? He actually spoke English. Said he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, ever the schemer. It's something we had in common. I had been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll see you around.
Eh, it looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. I won't. Groot! Hey, buddy. I was just, uh, checking to see if everything was okay. And it is. Okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it, or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? What do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot, then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. So there's hope for us yet. I am Groot. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean, I was failing Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. I am Groot. Man, those first few years. Do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. I'm cooked. Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean... I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost too, before Rocket and... and us. I am... I probably don't say this enough, but you really are an important part of the team. I can't imagine the Gardeners of the Galaxy without Groot. And who knows? If this thing does have your language in it, and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or... I don't know. <laughs> It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am awesome. Cool. What are we gonna do with you? What if we could shave you down and sell your wool? Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your road Peter Quill! Order the tree to open this door! I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. He must have asked his well-meaning accomplice to retrieve the sum and hide it from us. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. 
Groot has the right to some privacy. Ah, now is not the time for pointless civility. Oh, Groot. Groot, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? <laughs> Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. <laughs> What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. So, you here to talk or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey. Remember that time on Conlar, with the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Paramitar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it, you like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flarkin' fine. Ding, ding, done. So, about my raise. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the mock I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic oh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Guys! Let's just hear Drax out this time. Fin Fang Foom is the fiercest, most legendary monster in the galaxy. It shatters the bones of all who go after it. The skulls of the greatest hunters are impaled upon its fangs. Well, imagine the glory of such a death. Our goal isn't death, Drax. Glorious death! Out of the question. 
Well, in that case... You're not selling my stuff! I am Groot. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant! Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters. And you are not a monster! He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy. First of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf-9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. There! That's Lady Hellbender's fortress. Get us in close, Quill. I don't want to walk in this. Whoa! <laughs> yep. No problem! We're flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax! Just one... minor... adjustment! <laughs> Piece of cake! <sighs> you can't be serious. What?! This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. No wonder Rocket's the way he is. Hey Groot, you think I got time to build a sonic umbrella? My Groot. Ah, come on, it's only gonna take a tick. I am Groot. Shoot, you're right. We ain't got no roto adhesive left. I am Groot. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. Of course. It had to be raining. They say that Seknarf-9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Okay, here we go. I have a 
mention how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? In fact, you ain't sure. Don't vote so good. Ouch! Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. We must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trainer to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill... <laughs> oh, that was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this! Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Good advice! sense of direction is impeccable. Says the guy who landed on the wrong side of the planet! Mark! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger! Yeah, keyword live! If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship. We should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am moved. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking Half World. You think I'm scared of some little. Black! It's not alone. Get ready! Someone get me! 
a look at Tor! The outer muck is only a distraction from its nucleus! Hey, Quill! Wanna see some fireworks? More abominations come to test our might! What are you waiting for? Jelly is charging! I'm on it! The blobs are no match for your sword, assassin! Dark, pointy death coming your way! Here looks like we are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. Creatures here are not her pets. These sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. There's a trail going through the jungle. Try to find a way up. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time, when the turmoil of war raged stronger than the storms of this world. Peter, get moving! Drax is having an existential meltdown! When all fails, shoot stuff. Words to live by. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you could pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it right now. He makes an excellent point. Shall I continue ripping it apart? No, no, no. I think we're good. <laughs> Mud in this area seems clear. It's them jelly things we fought. Great. I'm going to scout ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. There they are. Wing control. All right, Rocket. That wind control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. What the fuck? That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either.
something big move through here. Yay! If you see anything with claws the size of Drax, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? For sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking for trouble, assassin. Ooh, mysterious. Found something, Quill? Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Uh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. Monster eggs. Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... No, just trying to stay ready. I took care of it. What, Scott? I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait, so where are you? Cave with X. Where are you? Still checking things out. This place is bigger than I thought. Just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. Right? <sighs> I'm exploring, Quill. Because, uh, I really need to talk to you. Fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. Then it must be out on the hunt. Are you sure you want to get lost out here? Peter Quill, I have found the way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Good enough. Further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we had wanted, we never go anywhere. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find help, Ender. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. So, uh... These tracks, Gamora. You're just messing with us, right? Nope. <laughs> Are you frightened, Rodent? I'm cautious. You try being this guy. I gotta watch out for things that can eat me one 
Or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our quill so special. Interesting. I don't lay eggs. Hmm. Looks more alien than the other ones. They are all alien. Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what are you? do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! Put me down! We're not throwing rocket. Very well. You sons of forking chalks! How will we cross? Look around, we'll find another way. She was real cozy with the bugs. Ridiculous. Wow, it is dark in here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet, right. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just leave it. What's your problem? My problem is Meathead trying to huck me over a cliff. You are overreacting. I did not throw you. Only because Quill stopped you. Then there should be no problem. I'm watching you, you Katafian psychopath. Think you can topple this? I may have angered them. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pep talk. Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait. Hear that? Eyes oh. up, people. Incoming! <laughs> These things are pissed and deadly. Let's stay focused. Get Next back in there, Tiger! Me.
Just in a bug is a flying one. I'm starting to miss those jelly things. Don't jinx us. Next time, you're on your own. Oh, thanks, buddy. Get it out of your system before we get there! turned around as well. Where the flock are we? Why are we so sure this is the way? All right, Gamora. Three shirts this way. Fifty units says it ain't. No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Ah, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Second Arc Nine. Gamora, am I cutting us a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. Oh, an old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships? Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now what's the hold up? Fear. No. We're just thinking someone else should cross the death pit first. Me and Groot are the merchandise. Only one of you is the merchandise. Well, just go. No, you just someone go. Someone go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. Groot says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just... Nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill, we are not alone here. <sighs> I got it. Uh, guys, anyone know what that is? Monster! Ah! We've got the numbers! 
One is the only number I require. Trash! Kick their foot! With pleasure! This weakness is exposed! Blitz him right here! This has turned my blade to blade! Them jelly things weren't cutting it? Stumpy's running away. That its tail between its legs. I say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, it'll give us eyes on where we need to go. It is settled. Let's scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. All right, it's all yours. Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Ah, right. Hey, Quill, mind giving the old girl a scan? Gamora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out. Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. At this rate, by the time we get there, Hellbender will have moved on from Monster Collector. Yes, I am obviously being sarcastic. I'm just saying it shouldn't take this long to get to her. I am being constructive. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this dumped up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. All right, pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. This unit is tremendously heavy. I thought you were exceptionally muscular. Yes! That is why I can easily carry this great weight. Do you even know where to put it? I see. I see. Don't take too long. We got a castle to get to. No giant monster. All good. I wonder if there goes nothing. Woo! <laughs> that was fun. Did he perish? Hey, Quill, you dead? No! Wow! <laughs> I'm alive! 
Are you in need of assistance, Peter Quill? It's all right. I'll figure it out. If that bomber's full of old dead Nova, maybe we should, uh, you know, lighten their pockets? Ooh, right here. Wedge it in. All right. Is this good? Yeah, amazing. <laughs> Yeah, any sign of the giant thing in the ravine? Oh yeah, we made a deal. He can eat fruit first. Just messing with you, bud. Can we get to the top of the ship now? First a down resistance ship, now a Nova Corps one. We're two out of three on Galactic War Bingo. Maybe this was a staging ground for the push against the Shatari. Or maybe it was a bug stronghold and they were shooting these things out of the sky. Good right here. Shall be done. in spirit. Oh, right. Slippery wind pummeled treetops. Here we come. One thing is clear. We would never have accomplished this task without the assassin. Did Drax just praise Gamora? I am giving credit where credit is due. Took you long enough. We all know Gamora's super cool and super valuable. And she has not yet tried to kill us. And she has not yet tried to kill us. How come you never give me credit for anything? Like he said. He gives credit where credit is due. There it is! Lady Hellbender's fortress! It's gotten bigger, that's for sure! Ha! It is not getting bigger! We are getting closer! Looks like there's a way down here! Quill! You gotta see this ship! <sighs> okay, here we go! Oh. Slimy. Uh... Guys! <laughs> You might want to wait to come down here. Oh, why the Flarkus is so deep? In a jam, boys? Uh, you think? Some schmack breach! The sword will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Quill, do something! It's like Flark, what? Flark, Flark, Flark. Quill, Quill, I don't know. My blasters, they... i only done that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, they pull scut like this. Just, come on, you, just... Please, the guns me, alone! Me, I, I, Quill, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys! DNA coding the black skull. Some kind of morphing animal. Or sorcery. Here we go again. Ah, it's... See, I 
Ice Cube! That fun! I'm so happy for you and your guns, Will. Smoke the rocket! We can climb up and over. Ding, ding, ding! Give that man a gold star. Let's figure out how. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. 